come into rulership, you know? We, the elect, the hopeful elect, come into rulership with Yahweh Shai reigning over us. You know, because this place will be found no more. You know, we just got to endure just a little bit longer, so we're just kind of sitting back and watching things. We're watching things from afar up, and yet we're still here. Revelation chapter 21, and it reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. You know? So pretty much, and uh, this whole place, Babylon the Great, we're, we're, what is it? It's going to be cast into the sea? It's going to be called the Lake of Fire? Think about that one. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, which first before it becomes a place where people first, so we come down from heaven, come down from that chariot, that sweet chariot that came forward to carry us home. This is going to be our home. This is where we're coming to. Coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Talking about Yahweh Shai. They're making you think that all nations are going to be spared, but they're not. You see, there's only one nation that's going to be ruling, and that's the kingdom of Yahshua, which is through the kingdom of, of well, yeah, the kingdom of Yahshua, I did say it correctly, which is ruled with Yahweh Shai. You know? See, the wicked were only given a short time to rule. When we talk about the wicked, we're mostly talking about Esau, you know, but all the other kingdoms had a chance to rule their ship as well. You always heard, uh, well, if you don't go to church, you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn for all eternity. But yet this whole fire and brimstone that you do read about in there is just talking about this one day and this one hour when this place, Babylon the Great, shall be no more, shall be laid desolate. Nuclear holocaust is what that's talking about. So yeah, it's going to burn a very mighty long time. But there's no place underground where you burn forever. Although hell is the grave. Absolutely it's the grave. So Russia, which is a guard unto all these places, Russia's going to be the ultimate destroyer of Babylon. For the Most High himself to put it into their hearts to fulfill his will. As the scriptures tell us. And again, we're just reading right out of the Bible. We reiterate the Bible because the Bible foretells of everything. You know? Keep that in mind. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh controls all things. Now we go in on Esau, Edom. Of course we do because of the fact that uh, he's being brought to judgment and his sins are being remembered. And yes, he has sins too. No, he wasn't given the Ten Commandments uh, of Moses. He wasn't given our laws, but he was given laws. Absolutely. Thou shall not uh, touch my anointed. That was one of his main laws that he had broken. He had done that in both rulerships under the Roman Empire and the revised Roman Empire. He most certainly has done this. So therefore, you know, he's being brought to judgment. And that's what happens. And that's what we're doing. We're coming out here. We're calling judgment upon them. We're calling down the wrath of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to spare us, but to curse them. Because it's time. Enough of this. Let me take a, a good look, though. Did you see anything righteous about this place? Is there anything righteous here? Absolutely not. But we're being brought back into righteousness. We're standing on our own two feet. So we're, therefore, we're calling out the sin for what it is. And we are certainly casting lots. And that's what scares uh, Esau the most. Is the fact